the twenty eighth day of the blessed month of Ba'una. Departure of Saint this was the thirty third book of Alexandria. On this day of the year two hundred eighty three AM, John twenty second, five hundred sixty seven AD, Saint Theodosius the thirty third book of Alexandria departed. After the departure of Pope Timothy, the bishops and the Orthodox Christian gathered and ordained his father a bachelor. He was a learned man and well rehearsed in the church books. Soon after, the enemy of the God enticed some evil men from the city of Alexandria to take Atakios, archdeacon of the churches of the city of Alexandria, and appointed him a patriarch. That happened with the help of Julian. Who was excommunicated by Bob Timothy for his approval of the Council of Chalcedon. When they appointed Atacus, they exiled Bob Sardusius to the city of Germanus. Saint Severus, the Antiochian patriarch who was residing in Saha in the Egyptian land, comforted and strengthened him. He reminded him of the tribulations that came upon the imbeciles and joy of the golden mouse. Six months after the exile of Bob Sardisius, he went to the city of Mali and dwelt there for two years. Afterwards, the leader of the city of Alexandria went to the governor and demanded from him the return of their legitimate shepherd and the execution of Atatus of Richard. When the news reached Emperor Justinian and the god loving Emperor Theodora, she sent a letter to the church in Alexandria to ask about the legitimacy of the ordination of Bob Theodosius. For if it was according to the canon of the church, he should be reinstated on his chair. A council of lay people and 120 priests convened and unanimously agreed that Theodosius was ordained with the consent of the bishops and the people and according to the canon of the church. A practice was present in the council. He rose up confessing that he had transgressed. He asked for forgiveness and to remain as a Judeo as he was before. They sent this fact to the emperors. Since the emperor was in agreement with the face of the council of Chalcedon, he wanted to attract the Pope to his erroneous face. He wrote to his representative in Alexandria saying, If the patriarch Sardisius agreed with us in this, along with his papacy and the governorship of the city of Alexandria, but if he didn't agree, he should be expelled from the city. When the patriarch heard that, he said, that what the devil had told the Lord Christ after he showed him all the kingdoms of the world and their glory. All these things will I give you, if you will fall down and worship me. The patriarch then left the city and went to our Egypt and stayed there confirming the believers. Later on, the emperor called Saint Sodesius to Constantinople, so he went with some of the learned priests. The emperor received him with great honor and seated him in a distinguished place. He tried to flatter him and talked gently to him to persuade him to agree on the face of the council of Calcedon. When he didn't yield, he exiled him to our Egypt and appointed in his place a person called Paul. When this poor arrived to Alexandria, its people didn't receive him. He remained there for a year, and only few followed him. When the emperor heard of this, he commanded to serve the church until the people submitted to the patriarch he appointed. The believers built a church in the name of Saint Mark and another in the name of Saint Cosme and Damien outside the city, where they were able to receive the holy mysteries and baptized their children. When the emperor heard that he had the church with open. Book Sodesius, when he heard this, feared that the emperor might have intent to lure the people by that act. He wrote a letter to the believers to confirm them in the Orthodox faith and to warn them from the reception of this infidel. He lived four years in Alexandria and remained in exile in our Egypt for 28 years. He spent 31 years, 4 months and 15 days in the Watyarchate. This book wrote many discourses and useful teachings. 
May his prayers be with us only. Commemoration of the Consecration of the Church of Ambassador Ramon, Bishop of Nikios. On this day also the Church celebrates the commemoration of consecration of the Church of Ambassador Ramon, the Martyr, Bishop of Nikios. May his prayers be with us and the glory be to God forever. Amen.